Hello for people, today we'll be reacting to the Welsh National Anthem performed live at a rugby match. Now, you guys know on the other channel I did a National Anthem reaction to all the British Isles. You know, I did Scotland, I did Wales, I did... I don't remember if I did Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland, but I'm sure I touched in, into Ireland. We did England, we did even Isle of Man. You know, we did the entire Isles of the British people and yeah. And also it's different than just watching like a lyric video in comparison to seeing it performed live. So I wanna check it out, see what emotions are brought in and seeing if they can actually sing it like the crowd because there are some high notes and like the songs aren't easy to sing. So I wanna see how the Welsh people do it and what happens. That being said too, I've been getting a lot of requests to like react to the British Isle languages, a Gaelic, Welsh, you know, anything else that y'all speak, the Nordic stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to like the video so I know you want me to do that content. DM me video over on Instagram, check out my other channels. I have a music reaction channel and a travel vlogging channel, all linked down below. Subscribe to me here for more content like this, as this is my culture channel. You'll only get culture reactions over here, and if that's something you're into, subscribe. Anyways, here we go right into the Welsh National Anthem at a rugby match. So for the first run through, I'm just gonna listen to the song entirely so that we can just pay respects and like enjoy the song. And then afterwards, we'll listen to it again, and that's when I'll pause and like do my reactions and all that stuff. So yeah, here we go. Six Nations, whatever that means. Grown men about to cry. I got chills. Oh no! <laughs> Videos like this, I hate crying on camera. It's so annoying, but you really can't help with stuff like this. Anyways, the song, I love how it like has its inclines. It has the, just the moments where it's like powerful and just like super high and you know, there's just, it's like a huge jump. Your your soul literally leaps up to another level of just ascension with like the, the higher notes. And the fact that everybody like can hit them, like grown men reaching octaves that they don't typically reach when speaking, you know, out here singing just in unison. It's really beautiful. But there are a lot of things throughout the music video, not the music video, the video itself that I kind of noticed. So let's go through again and I'm going to pause this time and talk about some of the stuff. But the song, the national anthem, I really love it. I feel like obviously the American national anthem and I think now the Welsh national anthem are my two favorite national anthems that we've checked out so far. Anyways, let's dissect the video though again. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the Six Nations? Like, I know that y'all have clubs, you have uh, teams and stuff. You have different dissections when it comes to all your sports. So I'm guessing the Six Nations are like the six clubs of rugby. Hmm. Six Nations. From 17... 1759? Jeez. Super old. So that's, wait, that's not the Welsh flag. Cause the Welsh flag is like the cool one with the dragon. And here it's like a flower or something. And over here it's a rose. I don't think, I don't think these are actually the Welsh flags. The flags of Wales. And you can see that maybe this is like a military thing going on. Cause you have people surrounding the, the flag edges. And usually when we do that, it's like for the military. So maybe this is like y'all's corpse and stuff. So someone explain what's going on here. Let's go. 
Grown men. And I like that they're not afraid of like touching each other. And the little short shorts are very cute. I like it. A little Dixie Dukes. What does a typical Welsh person look like? What I'm noticing, at least for the men, is everyone has a tan. They're mainly brunette. Like, yo, genetically, what does a Welsh person look like? Because you know, like, Nigerians have specific features. We have our noses, we have our eye shape. How does that compare to Welsh people? And how do the Welsh people compare to everyone else in, in Britain or the UK? Very tall. So based off, I'm gonna go back to that guy who was super tall. Based off of like the body structures, can you tell like what position each person plays? Like I would assume he's probably like in the back or maybe in the middle somewhere trying to block the ball or something. And then this guy's pretty short, so hopefully he can run fast. So he's probably on the outsides. I don't know what this guy would do. Maybe he's like a center who brings the ball down or something. But I feel like every body type and stuff like kind of inevitably puts you at a, an advantage or a disadvantage. Like you can't really choose what position you play with rugby. Also, what's this cream stuff they have on their ear? Like obviously it's, you know how boxers put stuff on their cheeks so when they get punched in the face it doesn't like, I guess it can heal better. Maybe it's like cream to protect any injuries or something. Okay, a f feature that I've already noticed. They all have rounded heads. Like, their their heads are very rounded. Hmm. I'm not saying that's all Welsh people, at least just for these men so far, the Welsh men. And what's going on behind them? The actual, like, choir singing it? The national anthem? And the flower. So you know how in the beginning there was the flag with the rose, and then on the opposite side it was, like, this cornucopia-looking thing with, like, sprouting literally what's on their jackets wru welsh rugby union welsh rugby union and then they have the little flower on top so maybe the rugby teams maybe has a flag and it's represented by a flower well that's not very intimidating if you're going against the all blacks and you pull up with a flower as your mascot i wouldn't be intimidated what's that about <laughs> And another thing I've noticed, everyone is pretty, there was only one guy with a mullet that we saw, but everyone's pretty clean shaven. You know, their faces are clean, their haircuts are nice. Even though they're about to go play a like super, like compact sport like rugby, you know, they're still, their, their maintenance is very nice. Maybe it's just a men thing over in Wales. Like their hygiene is really good. Also, I've noticed his ears. He doesn't just have the cream, he actually has them taped up. So rugby, maybe, who was the boxer who bit someone's ear off? Mike Tyson, right? Are they out there doing that? I'm sh oh, I can imagine your your tension is so high. Trying to rip off people's ears, biting them, tearing them off. And you don't have any pads like in football, so, you know, injury is probably more common. This is what I meant, a grown ass man going for it, like giving it all he's got. And you can see in his eyes, he's like getting emotional by it and everything. I assume these are probably like the owners of the team, you know? Or like prominent people in the Six Nations from rugby. An American brand is sponsoring them. Under Armour. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely have very rounded heads. And also, I just love the emotion they're all exhibiting. And they're literally clinging on to each other like there's a lot of unity going on here and I love it. He's gotten the most camera time. Is he, who is this guy? He's probably like a, a prominent dude. He looks older, so he might have been on the team for a long time. So he has like a lot of power and say in, in the team. Because he's gotten a, a lot of camera. Vocals. Ooh, there's a doggy. 
So y'all got flowers and a dog as a mascot. I love this part. This lady freaking almost made me cry last time because just she, the, the emotion that she's overcome with, you can just tell from her facial expression, the way she's jumping, she's just very overwhelmed by it. And I, I freaking keep getting goosebumps. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. Guinness Six Nations. All right, you guys, that was the Welsh National Anthem live at a rugby game. It was beautiful. I really enjoyed that. Should we check out next Scotland, maybe England? Or should we go to Ireland and check out the Republic or Northern Ireland? Let me know. I was also watching Olympic videos because I was like, okay, obviously we're in a pandemic, so the Olympics couldn't happen last year. But that being said, it was like Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So y'all are just tagging the Irish people along with you. They have to be associated. I just thought that was kind of weird because they didn't say the United Kingdom. They said Great Britain and the Republic of Ireland. But uh, whatever. I'm still in a little bite.